So uh, October is coming to a close and with Halloween just a few days away, it's not too late to get your fill of spooktacular movies and TV shows, both new and old. So entertainment correspondent David Correa is helping us get into the spirit of the season and he has his finger on the undead pulse. Oh God. Do dead people have a pulse? I don't think um, so. But, but he's here anyway with a list. <laughs> With the list, uh, David. Thank you for being here. Oh, you know I love coming here. Oh, we're this so is my excited. favorite. I love, I love the spooky mm -hmm. season. I do too. Offerings. I I do have to confess at the top. I am probably the biggest scaredy cat Me you'll too. ever meet oh, on really? the planet. Me too. I don't know why I torture myself though because I love scary them. movies. I love. Because you're trying to get into the season. I I, I do it. love a theme. What is your favorite? So I have a top five. Great. Oh. Let's hit him. So we're gonna start with a classic, Scream. Yes. Yeah, those are classics. It's mm -hmm. just, it's so good. The first Scream came out in 96. What? 96? I know, oh, it's were wild. You born? Yes, I was born. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I can't, uh, they have made like a million of these. I can't believe yeah. 96 was the first one. Wow. 96 was the first one, and then Scream 6 just came out not too long ago. Right, I remember and it that. took place in New York yes. with Everyone's new favorite scream queen, Jenna Ortega, <gasps> as the lead. Yes. So, so that's fan. It's she. It's so good. You know, one of my favorite all-time scream stories is that Drew Barrymore, who gets killed off in the very beginning, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was originally cast as Sydney, not yeah. Nev Campbell. Really? And then she, after reading the script, said, "You know what would be really interesting is if, because she knew she was a star." If I got killed off first in the 10 minutes, people, the audience would know all bets were off. Ooh. Oh, okay, Drew. Yeah. Look at her. Yeah. Sacrificing herself. What a mm. martyr. So good. In a scary so film. I would, I would probably sacrifice myself first, so I don't want to be <laughs> So you have to live through all it? All the tomfoolery. Uh, and Jenna Ortega will be making a comeback later in your uh, Yes. In your yeah, because she's the new screen queen. Yes. So then we'll move on. My next two, they scare the bejesus out of me. And I am originally from Connecticut, so they also hold a close place in my heart. Oh, God. We're going to start off with Nightmare nope. on Elm Street. Oh, nope. gosh. <laughs> never seen it. Oh, uh, never seen you it? Well, no, I won't say it. It's too scary. You shouldn't, actually. <laughs> it's really bad. Have, this it's, is the stuff that really haunts you. Oh, it's so, it's, <gasps> I mean, because he can just, he can, he can haunt you. He can come oh into your gosh. dreams. And it's based off of oh a gosh. home in Stratford, Connecticut, which is just down the road from oh, where I'm from originally. Boy. So creepy. Yeah. Up next, is The Conjuring. Like dreamy? Oh, it looks like McDreamy. Oh, I missed it. No, that guy that oh. looked like him, didn't it? It did. <laughs> kind of, okay, if he's in it, maybe I'll watch Sorry. it. Wait, The Conjuring? The yeah, Conjuring. I, I unfortunately did see this one, and oh. I it haunted me for a very long time. Me too. I think this was almost number one for me. Because it, it really, it took me out for mm -hmm. weeks at really? a time. I mean, it is just mm. so scary. Add in Lorraine Lauren, uh, Warren, you have, it's that whole Annabelle universe. Yeah. A family's home gets possessed. Everyone gets possessed. It, there's a witch from. Mm -hmm. Of course oh, there's a just, witch. There's just so much. It's it's a lot. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's a yeah. scary. If you're. Easily it scared. It scares Yikes. you to, it reaches down into the depths yeah. of your core. Watch it with someone and then make sure that person is staying overnight. In your and bed and, 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 and holding you right. tight. And, and leave, leave the, the lights, lights on. on. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping with light. I can need we something go, a little can bit. Can we go to the. I, I was less telling them the scary. other day, I was like, my favorite scary movies are the ones that like the children can watch. Yes. <laughs> So, Hocus Pocus. Yes. Oh, I love a Hocus Pocus. A classic. I've already watched it A twice. classic. Bette Midler. Yep. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yep. Kathy and Jimmy. Yep. Music. Dancing. Mm -hmm. Some. It's, it's, it is like, this is like the ebb and flow of Halloween. Like, Dead you scare yeah. yourself Dead and then you play slow. that before you go to bed so that way you can <laughs> maybe sleep. There we go. Maybe. This is like the intro into, into scary films for yeah. the kids. Yeah. It's, right? it's, it's it. great. Yeah, I mean, there are, I mean so Bette Midler's a little creepy if you're a kid in this. She's a little too bad. She has those teeth, man. And then uh, Hocus Pocus 2 was great. Yes. Had a comebacks from the entire cast. Yes. Uh, loves we that. also had um, Hannah Waddington, who you may know yes, from she Ted Lasso. Was on our show. She's yeah. so Oh, no, good. no, she wasn't on our show. I wish. That's me uh, trying to manifest That's me manifesting because she's in. my favorite. Yes, Hannah Waddington. Oh, Hello. Love her. Love her. Um, and then another one of my all time favorites Beetlejuice. Yes. Beetlejuice, 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 Beetlejuice. 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 <laughs> No, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Love uh, it. 
it is a classic mm -hmm. Gina Davis, yep. Michael mm -hmm. Keaton, uh, so Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder, thank oh, you. I couldn't remember. Winona her. Ryder, who was the original Scream Queen, yes. and you mentioned yes. Jenna is coming back for the remake in 2024. And that was literally amazing. just announced. Like, just I didn't even announced. know that it was a thing until our morning meeting. I was like, what? Oh, it's, I'm so excited. It's coming out next year, and Jenna plays Winona's daughter. Oh, I love see, it. that's perfect. And yeah. Winona and uh, Michael Keaton are gonna be in it too? Yes. Hello, yep. uh, give me all the Jenna Ortega all the time. She's I know. amazing. The t she is so, she's so committed. She loves scary. Mm -hmm. It works for her. It's yeah. her, it's it, her That her show's shaker. gonna blow it's up. It's her shtick. Um, okay, so new movies. Newer okay. films that we can watch. So we lightened it up with Beetlejuice and Hocus oh, Pocus. Really? So now, now we're going scary back again. to, I told you, it's like this roller coaster. The Boogeyman. Ooh. No. This one, you def, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds I like. I already it don't like it. It is The Boogeyman. You don't want to turn off the lights no. when you see this one. Okay. It stars Sophie Thatcher, who uh, plays Thaddy, the lead character. You may know her from Yellow Jackets. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yes. It is so creepy. Jump scare after jump scare no. after jump scare. You don't see the monster till the very end, so the whole time you're like, oh, oh my gosh. Interesting. I slept, I won't, Did I'm not scream? lying. I you... screamed, I slept with the lights on for at least two nights because my husband travels and I was alone. Oh, so was oh why would you do that to yourself, Debbie? I, I torture myself and I don't know why. Well, then this is the movie you watch in the daytime, like when you wake up and it, watch it while you're you drinking your coffee. It doesn't uh, matter with this one, it's so let's creepy. Put some really? horror on yeah, it's, a, it's a great one if you like scary. What about Evil Dead Rising? Evil Dead. Oh, uh, that one's on Max. It is the fifth iteration of the series. What's good about this one is you can watch part five as a standalone, or you matter. can watch the whole thing on Max if you want to catch oh, okay. up. I will say if none. you are easily skeeved out, <laughs> this yes. is not the one for you. It is like, I was like, ah, ooh, ah, I, <laughs> I, I, can't. I just, it was a lot to handle. Oh my God. Uh, it's very cringy. I will say that the characters more so than any horror movie I've ever watched, really annoy me. I'm like screaming at them the whole time. Oh, like, God. You already know that that person's not a good person. Why are you talking to them? Just oh, that's another annoying part of horror films. They're always yes. doing exactly what they shouldn't. Uh, Living Dead, this is on Hulu. Uh, Living for the Dead, now we're back on the roller coaster. Now okay. we're gonna take it a little easy. Okay. okay. It is right, a listening. new reality show. Oh, it's a reality it, show. Yes, it is. Ghost Hunters meets Queer Eye. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's so cute. It's okay. five queer ghost hunters. You have a tarot card reader, you have a medium, you have someone that's into the research side of things, and they go around the country visiting some of the most haunted places. I mean, you talked a little bit earlier about chlorophobia. Yeah. The first episode is takes place in a haunted clown motel. Oh, no. okay. That's just too much now. It, it's it's really creepy, but they help people get over their fears and they oh. talk to the ghosts and Aww. try to make it better. And they it, it it's a little heartwarming and they is play Case the doing there? She, she is the narrator it? and produces. <gasps> oh. Okay. Hello, Kristen yeah, Stewart. It's great. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And finally. And finally, oh, I, <laughs> it's I got a sneak peek of this mm -hmm. one. This mm -hmm. is the Enfield Poltergeist. Okay. It's a documentary. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, so it's real deal stuff. No. It is very real deal. No. There are audio clips. <gasps> there are See, I love this visuals. Kind of nope. I mean, I when you hear this audio, you're literally like, uh. Nope. No. It's so creepy. It's about a family in 1977 in London whose okay. house became possessed by demonic spirits. Mm. It attacked everyone in the home. It particularly paid attention to one of the teenage daughters, Janice. And Poor Janice. It, there is a Poor story Janice. that the teenage girls added to some of the story uh. and played with some of what was happening in okay. the room, like the moving of furniture. So you have to watch it, get the full picture, and then make your own conclusion. Do I have to watch it? <laughs> Don't watch it. I mean, the, the audio again, the stuff. Name of it? The Enfield Poltergeist. Uh, Enfield the word Poltergeist. And it's on is Apple just... TV coming out on the 27th. Oh, on the 27th, mm -hmm. just in time for Halloween. Mm -hmm. David, okay. thank, you, thank you, I guess. Oh my God, now I'm, I'm scared. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm scared. Me too. My, my palms are sweaty just from watching those clips. But follow <laughs> David on all of his social media platforms. There they are, right there for any and everything pop culture, and he will keep you up to speed. He's the best.